What's up YouTube friends? So yesterday and today I went on a thrift store bender and I spent way more money than I should have but I had a lot of fun. Yesterday I spent the day with my friend Rama and actually she's the one that made me this shirt. Now I did cut off the sleeves because I like to take it to the gun show but I think it turned out really great. And she has a store on Etsy called End of the Line Studios and I'll link it down below where you can pick up some of these one-of-a-kind masterpieces. We went to a couple Salvation Armies in Council Bluffs and downtown Omaha as well as a store I've never been to and I actually kind of love and will go back. And today I just hit up all of my Goodwills and went to the Dollar Tree so I just want to show you what I got. So first just to get out of the way I'll show you what I got at the Dollar Tree and it's mostly just trick-or-treat stuff for the trick-or-treat bags. But first, I got two of these spiderweb bowls. I thought those were really cute. And I plan on just setting up my table outside in the driveway and then having the kids pick what treat bag they want. I also have some pretty glow-in-the-dark rings, things like that. So these will come in handy. And also, I grabbed one of these Halloween tablecloths. It just says Happy Halloween on it. Now I haven't quite got the official head count for the number of kids coming to our little block party on Halloween so I wasn't sure how many of these to buy so I got 24 of the glow stick necklaces. There's four to a pack and it's purple, blue, orange, and yellow. I also grabbed two packs of Halloween pencils to throw in their treat bags as well as two packs of the Halloween erasers. And just to add a little spookiness to my table, I also grabbed one of these large spiders. And it's probably just going to be hanging over one of those spider web balls. Now from the Goodwills, I grabbed this bag of rings. It's 59 cents and I actually saw these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I did not pick them up because I'm already giving them flashing rings. But then I saw these for 59 cents so I just grabbed them. Why not? Then for 99 cents, I grabbed this glow-in-the-dark skeleton hand. It's supposed to go into the ground like it's coming out, but I'm just going to have it sitting on one of the spiderweb bowls. And then also for 99 cents, I grabbed these, and there are 12 of them in this pack, and they're little decks of playing cards. I thought those were super cute. Now I might use these for my junk journals. If there's fewer than 12 kids coming, these will just go in their treat bags also. So that's all my Halloween stuff. The next thing I grabbed was this pair of shorts. They're brand new. They were full price at $3.59. But like I said, the tags are still on it. And you can never have too many pairs of shorts. So next for $3.59, I grabbed this t-shirt. I thought it looked very camo, but it's kind of like one of those I Spy books. This has pheasant, deer, tractors, trucks, cows, corn, bunnies. The more I look at it, the more I see, and I thought it was really cool, so I just grabbed it. Then for $1.99, I grabbed this little round 10. Now my plan is I plan to put my Mod Podge and my glues in this. Now pink's not my favorite color, but I think I'm just gonna paint this with some chalkboard paint. and It'll be perfect to hold my glues. Next, I grabbed two of these storage bins. I could always use more storage bins. Now, these were $2.99, a little bit pricey. I would have had no problem paying $1.99, but $2.99 is a little high for me anyway. But I, I just had to have them because I need them, so I grabbed them. Next thing I grabbed for $0.99 cents was this little notepad. It has a magnet on the back, and it has a little mouse, and he's gardening some carrots. I just thought that was really cute and I could use these for my junk journaling or if mother needs another grocery list. Now for $1.99 I also grabbed these photo albums. There's two to a pack so I can just use these for my junk journal covers anything like that. If I ever get any more finished I really just need to take a day where I sit down and just do junk journaling. And I just thought these were the perfect size for like a prop spell book or something like that. Now for 99 cents, I grabbed this, and it's one of those diamond, like, paint by number things. Now actually, there's a subscriber that she posts pictures of hers on Facebook, and they look really cool. 
I've always wanted to try them, and for 99 cents, why not? Now this one says, because someone we love is in heaven. Now I'm not sure what the rest of it says because it was brand new. But either way, I think it'll be fun. I also grabbed two of these plastic tablecloths. I use these all the time in my epoxy room. When the old ones get ripped up or too much epoxy on them, I just roll them up and throw them away. This was 59 cents and this silver one was 99 cents. Now for 99 cents, I grabbed this notepad and it's just for my junk journaling. because so I like to use different kinds of papers, things with different patterns on it. And here's what these look like. So I just thought that was pretty cool. And would make good pages for my junk journals. As if I need any more scrapbooking stuff. Now for 99 cents, I grabbed this little wooden locker that the kids can put together. You can get these at Lowe's and they have other things too, like race cars and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna throw it in the kids craft bucket. So one of them can do that. And then for $1.99, I grabbed this Spirograph. Now I remember doing these as a kid and I always loved it. This was brand new, it's never been opened, and I just thought the kids would have a blast using this. And the last thing I got at the Goodwill is kind of a splurge. I grabbed this pasta machine and it was $14.99. Now my birthday is coming up, it's on the 26th, mark it on your calendar. So I'm just telling myself, this is my gift for myself. I've always wanted one of these, and you can bet there'll be a pasta video in the future. I did check this out in the store before I grabbed it to make sure all the parts were there. I don't even think it was ever used. This was a good find for me. Now yesterday when I was with my friend Rama, we went to a thrift store I've never been to, and it was called St. Vincent's de Paul. It was in downtown Omaha on Leavenworth. And I've been looking for a nice black jacket that can go with anything. And I think I found a nice one. Now I checked the brand on this when I got home and some of these jackets go for $150 plus. I got this one for 99 cents. Do I look like a distinguished gentleman? And just a quick little fact about my channel. Some of you have asked where I got my name for my channel and actually this is Scrappy's Patch. Now some of you guys that have been around a while know I did not show my face in my beginning videos for a few years. And actually my plan was to do a children's sewing videos and I was going to use Scrappy here. I did make this puppet. No, I will not show you how to make one. His shirt is actually made of strips of t-shirt that I sewed together. This is just some green felt and actually for the foam I used an old mattress topper. The reason why I did not give him a face is he was going to have different hair, different facial expressions, stuff like that. But then when I started putting up videos, just mainly for myself, learning how to edit, people started following me. So I just went that route. But here is Scrappy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and would like to see more of my videos, go down below and hit that big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. If you'd like to support my channel, check out my links down below to my Etsy shop as well as my other social medias. And as always, thanks for watching, happy thrifting, and I'll see you next time. Back to you, Karen.